For many purposes, it is necessary to alter the resistance value of a circuit. For instance, to turn down the volume of a radio, or to control the brilliance of a lamp. And for this, a variable resistor, or potentiometer, is used. Now there are three main types of variable resistor, spindle operated, slider, and preset. This is the symbol for a spindle operated variable resistor. We can see that it has three terminals. The two outer terminals are connected to the track, which can either be wire wound, carbon, or ceramic onto which is fired a metal oxide film. The third terminal is connected to the wiper, which moves over the track, and this varies the amount of resistance included in the circuit. This type of resistor, then, can be regarded as two connected resistors in series. As the wiper is moved, the resistance of one resistor increases, while the other decreases. This enables it to be used as a potential divider, and so it's known as a potentiometer, or POT. Preset variable resistors, which have a slightly different symbol, are generally soldered into position, and then after adjustment with either a small screwdriver or a special tool, are rarely altered again. Multi-turn presets can be adjusted very accurately, and can be obtained in either 10 or 20 turn presets, depending on the number of turns required to move the wiper from one end of the track to the other. Sliding potentiometers are often used for applications where the control may need to be easily returned to a known setting, for example with a stage lighting panel or a sound system. Variable resistors are normally available in a range of power settings, from 50 milliwatts for this sub-miniature version to 5 watts for this Surmat potentiometer. Most potentiometers can be obtained with either linear or logarithmic tracks. A linear potentiometer has a resistive track that is uniform throughout its length. Equal angular changes bring about equal changes of resistance. Whereas logarithmic tracks give large changes of resistance for a given movement at one end of the track, reducing to small changes at the other. For some applications, such as stereo amplifiers, two potentiometers can be ganged together, so that one spindle operates both wipers simultaneously. Potentiometers can also be supplied with a ganged double-pole, double-throw switch incorporated, so that the equipment can be turned down and off, or, as in this light dimmer, operated by pressing. Where control in two planes is required, for example remote control applications, two potentiometers can be mechanically linked together to form an analogue joystick. These may be arranged to stay in any position, or to always return to centre.